I'll go ahead and call the meeting to order at 4.19. Um, roll call. Um, start here. Oh, I'm sorry. No, you're right. I am here and I'm present. I'm okay. <laughs> okay, Alder Decker? Here. Alder Heinemann? Here. Um, Alder um, Feldy? Here. Great. Alder Salazar, I'm here, and Alder Ackley is excused. Great. Can we please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <laughs> Great. Number four. Now we'll do introduction of committee member staff and guests. Okay. Eric Macchiano, Fire Chief. Matthew Walsh, Lieutenant Police Department. Barb Feldy, District One Alder Person. Kathy Hoffman, City Attorney's Office. Chuck Adams, City Attorney. Uh, Joe Heidemann, 10th District. You could read her cell side if she would. <laughs> Dean Defer, District Six. Meredith DeBruin, City Clerk. Melissa Fossbender, Licensed Clerk. Amanda Salazar, uh, Chair of Licensing and Hearing, and Alder of District 3. Okay, wonderful. Great. We'll move on to item number five, approval of minutes uh, for the meeting of May 24th of 2023. I move uh, to approve. Great. We've got a motion. Second. Motion and second. Um, any discussion? Great. All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Chair votes aye. Motion carries. All right, item number six, uh, hearing for non-renewal of alcohol beverage license number 3475 of J.N. Cortez LL Mironchito 2, Mironchito 2, yes? Yeah. Okay. Because it's the second place with that trade name, so. Okay. Got it. So, um, we, as you can see, we the, the matter has been settled. Uh, basically, the agreement is that they are voluntarily surrendering their license for 10 consecutive days, starting June 12th, uh, ending June 21, so they'll get back the, the 22nd. Uh, the issue here, you know, had been, pre while there, there was a violation of being open after hours, uh, really the, the greater concern, even beyond just simply the violation, was uh, uh, sort of the lack of cooperation uh, with the police in dealing with the issue as well as the fact that there had been some issues previously. Um, in working things out with, they did hire an attorney, uh, and in working things out with the attorney, I think he, they they recognized that, you know, they've had a few of these incidents and there's going to be a suspension when they have several incidents. Uh, I also think that, you know, we'll, we'll obviously we'll see. I think that uh, it is likely that this is going to get their attention and they've already talked about ways that they're, they understand they have to cooperate that, you know, it, it, the only way they're really going to be able to operate properly is if they continue in cooperation with the police. So um, you can ask any questions you've got about it. Lieutenant Walsh can answer any questions too if you've got them, but I think this is a, a fair way to settle it. Any questions? I guess, is there any like stipulations if they, you know, like, okay, I think the other one had like a bit, there was a stipulation that they violated the, this will trigger this or is there no, no triggers in it? Or? We didn't do any automatic triggers. That's we. That's pretty unusual for us to do that. Okay. That's typically where we're otherwise going to look for a full on revocation. Okay. Um, and we're, we were pro probably not to that point here. Okay. Um, so, yeah. Uh, they obviously, as part of the, the stipulation, they did indicate that um, you know, any further violations could result in us taking further action and we can consider, you know, their entire history. So, okay. Go ahead. Thank you. Thank you, Chair. And this is the first time this has come against these people. So it's the first time that they're being required to surrender their license. So typically the first time there's an issue, we just issue a warning. Okay. The second time we look at a shorter suspension and okay. the third time we look at a longer and then if it gets past third that's when we're looking at revocation in their case there was a, uh, a first shortly after they took over the the, the business okay. there was a second where um after having having <laughs> with them internally with with the staff the decision was made to not 
require uh, any kind of voluntary surrender, but to issue a second warning. Um, and that's <coughs> part of the reason I think why I think the 10 days here, it's a lot more than they would typically get the first time they get offended, <laughs> but it's also, um, you know, on a third offense, this this is, it, it's a little bit more consistent to what we've done 10 to 14 days, so. Okay, so, so it's not three strikes, next one you're gone. You know, if they have another incident in the next year, I would not, depending on the nature of it, and obviously we can't promise anything because it all depends on the case by case basis. But if, if they violate this again in the next year, I I have my doubts whether the staff is going to be very tolerant of that. And I think you're going to be seeing even more serious consequences being requested. Of you. Okay. Thank you. Are you allowed to explain to us the matter of why it's being um, surrendered? Yeah, so in, in essence, they were open after hours. Um, More than once. Well, th there, yeah, this particular incident is an open after hours. They had been, <laughs> they previously had had an open after hours. They okay. had a, um, an over serving and an underage on premise, I believe. Um, yeah. And so this was another one where they were open after hours. There were quite a few people in the tavern. Um, they, they claimed that it was, First, they claimed it was employees, the, the band. They you know, they made a number of claims about what it was. Uh, but frankly, the only reason people can even be in a tavern after hours, in a premises after hours, is if they're act, actively working and cleaning up. And that's it's pretty clear that's not what was happening. And, uh, you know, the officers did, you know, the officer who responded did see what appeared to be drinks on the counter, but he, was, he wasn't allowed in to investigate further. Uh, and uh, when there was a request made to, to watch the video, at, you know, to, to sort of back up their defense that, no, 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 this was only food, which sure. isn't necessarily permitted, but is also not a concern as far as their license, um, they refused to cooperate. So that there's, you know, when you go to court, you call that uh, um, yeah. knowledge of guilt. So, <laughs> yeah. is there anything we need to do with item number six? Are we filing it? I, I think it's it's really just a report to that you uh, that this is what happened. Um, you can take action, but there's no need for you to take any action because it is right. a voluntary surrender. Sorry. Any other further discussion? Mm -hmm. Thank you. We'll move on to item number seven. Um, RO number 32324, uh, 51 and 23, by city clerk submitting various license applications, class B liquor license renewals. Um, application number 3575, JN Cortez, LLC, Mi Ranchito. So this was held because of the incident number six. Uh, and so now that it's done, uh, we are recommending uh, granting per the stipulation. Uh, which is what I mentioned to you, the, the, the times, uh, uh, the time that they'll be closed before July 1st and their understanding of that the provisions could cause. Is this a different license than Miranchito 2? No, it's the same one. Got I, it. You know, it probably could have said Miranchito 2. So. Okay, got it. I was just making sure. I just, okay. The same one. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So I move, to, I move to approve with uh, stipulations. Second. Great, so we've got a motion um, to approve and second. Um, any other discussion? Great, all those in favor say aye. 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 Uh, any opposed? Great, chair votes aye, motion carries. Wonderful, um, item number eight. Second. Item number eight, RO number 1623-24, by city clerk submit, submitting various license applications. So we are recommending granting all the licenses on this RO, except we are recommending granting number 3007 to Ananda Marketing LLC with a warning. Uh, you may recall the last couple of times we issued some with warnings because of a tobacco sting that had occurred. And this is another one that was caught up in that sting and it sold to, uh, tobacco to underage. So it's first offense, we're recommending granting with warning. There are a large number of licenses on the RRO that will be granted, but they won't be issued until various contingencies are met. And I can go over those if you need, but um, but yeah, th those will all be granted. They're just matters they have to take care of physically. 
do we have any, any discussion any questions so the just one, one quick question um so the, the, the tobacco and the liquor is a separate license correct or is it, it is but when you're when you approve the, the license yes. what, what happens is they receive a combination license and okay tobacco is part of that so we have you Technically, we probably could separate those because tobacco is not required to be approved here. But since it's a combo license, we put the license. In front of it. If you're violating one, you're still kind of violating almost a second. You kind of are, yeah. I mean, it's still an underage issue. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm just reviewing. Anybody? Any other questions? I don't need to withhold myself on this one, do I? Uh, no, I think we didn't. We take care of that last time. I didn't know yeah. if I needed to go through two meetings. Does it? Uh, it, but it, it did, but it went through Got it. last, okay. so it went through on Monday night. Great. I just was like, there's a lot of places that's in here. I'm trying to scroll through all of them. <laughs> <laughs> like, am I on here or not? No, you're, you're good. Great. Okay. So, um, motion oh. for approval. Or just for approval. Approval. Okay. Okay. With the, with the very with the first staff with recommendations. The, I think yeah. is the next I'll second. Um, we've got a motion and second. Um, any other discussion? Great. All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Great. Chair votes aye. Motion carries. Um, agenda item number nine, RO number item RO number 172324 by city clerk submitting various license applications. We're also recommending granting all the licenses on this RO. Again, there are a number on here, quite a few that will be granted, but they won't be able to license until they deal with various issues, but they're all being recommended for granting. Any discussion? Thank you, Chair. Sure. Okay, just give me a, what is the contingency? What What is one yeah. of these so that I have, you know? So th there, there are various different kinds. So uh, some of them relate to funds that they owe the city. You can't get a license if you owe the city money mm -hmm. unless you work out various plans. So there are a few people with delinquent personal property taxes. There are a few people with delinquent fines. There are people with delinquent invoices. For, you know, there's, I think there's even one with a parking ticket that hasn't been paid. Um, that's, that's one category. Another category is just having all of the paperwork that they need for the license. So there's a number that hadn't yet submitted the seller's permit that that Melissa has to see before she can issue the license. So she's got to see that before they do it. Or uh, a couple of them didn't fill out certain forms properly. Um, those kinds of things. I don't think we have any premises issues this time, uh, but that's another type of issue that we sometimes have here. Where they haven't described the premises very well. We want them to be precise. Um, what I always tell people is make it so that a third shift officer who's never been in the bar before and happens to show up can tell whether somebody's on premises or not. Um, just by so the actually his exact words. <laughs> <laughs> Had to write extensions of premises. There you <laughs> go. Exact words. <laughs> and, and you know, so those are the kinds of things that we're looking at. They're not the kinds of things that would prevent them from getting the license granted, but they but the second step after granting is issuance. Okay. And, that, so and, that, and at the same time, they're actually still in in business and operating. Yeah, well, so these are all renewals. So you, you basically, yeah, I mean, if they would not provide the stuff to Melissa by July 1st, then on July 1st, they'd have to close okay. until they get okay. it. But then they would, as they would, you know, like if somebody forgot to do it, and they'd come in on July 10, Melissa would still be able to give them the license, they could open. Now, if they waited until you know, six months from now. Uh, but they'd know, have to be closed on July 1st, though. They would have to be closed on July 1st. And, and what, what does your department do when the, those licenses are, are, do they go over and say, hey, you're not supposed to be on break? Yeah, yeah. Typically, as we get close to July 1, we're in contact with the PD if there's anybody out there that's left at that point that can't be operating. Because we really wouldn't be doing our duty if we so up. No, we'll, well, we'll, the city uh, clerk will call uh, ahead of time yeah. and let you know. Okay. I've actually been responsible for picking up the license, and they've called me like, You've got two days. <laughs> I will be there as soon as you open on Monday, right? <laughs> so, they give you plenty of warning for the business yeah. owner. Right. So yeah. if they would wait till the time an officer needs to come, that's really on the owner at that yeah. point because we've done basically sent everything but a dove. Yeah. Right. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> 
That would be the last one. <laughs> so we're, our sense of Siebel. <laughs> we're recommending that you uh, grant for the staff recommendation. I'll make a motion to approve. I'll second. With staff recommendations. Okay, we've got a motion and second. Any other discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Chair votes aye. Motion carries. All right, item number 10, uh, resolution number 152324, a resolution approving the 20, 2023 Mer Mercury Racing Midwest Challenge and waiving the speed restriction outlined in the 2023 Sheboygan Municipal Code 60-68 for motor boats during their participation in the race activities. It's pretty easy. It's exactly what it says, waiving the speed limit. We actually have a provision in the ordinance that allows you to do that. So it's not like we're repealing an ordinance. It's it's using the ordinance as it's written, coming to you and saying repeal it during this event. Motion to approve. Second. We'd be fools not to approve it. Yes. Otherwise, it would be tie. <laughs> or or the winners would all have to get tickets. Yeah. <laughs> it, would, it would not be a very exciting race. Two, five miles an hour. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the revenue builder, though. It would be a long race. They're like, it was only supposed to be a week, but we extended it out a month. <laughs> I think I could swim faster. Yeah. Great. So we've got a motion and second. Uh, any other discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Great. Chair votes aye. Motion carries. All right, agenda item number 11. Our next meeting will meeting date will be June 28th of 2023. Um, I need a motion to adjourn. I move to adjourn. Second. All right, um, we've got a motion and a second. Any other discussion? <laughs> All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Chair votes aye. Meeting adjourned. Mm -hmm.